three D's, but I needed a coach. I had to identify someone who has walked this way. Someone who is not impressed with my success. Mm -hmm. Someone who can look at the greatness in me that I never saw. That's why in life, you need a coach. A coach, you are in the ring, you are fighting. A coach says, Mr. Michael Kitoa, go this way, do this way. But having a coach alone is not enough. I also needed a mentor, mm -hmm. a person who will walk with me, a person who have made that mistake. So coaching and mentoring is important, and I have both. I had coaches, I had mentors, even today, that begin to help me to navigate through the issues of life. What is success? But being successful doesn't mean you must be arrogant. What, it, what is it to be self-confident and still maintaining an identity? What is it of being serving people, the whole thing of servanthood. And when I begin to identify, walk, and work with those people, honestly, I am what I am today because of God and because of my coaches and my mentors. One of the things that we lack currently is mentors and leaders. Uh, there is that vacuum. And uh, what are your comments on the importance of actually having a mentor uh, depending on what you want to do? I would, or rather, do Michael, as a Christian, even Jesus had a mentor. In the Bible, David had a mentor. David could kill Goliath, but for him to have the etiquette or the protocol of the palace, he needed a Jonathan. All of us, we need mentors and coaches. You must be accountable to someone in life. So it is very important. This thing of I am a made or a self-made millionaire, absolute nonsense. There's no self-made millionaire. You always have someone in your life, whether they're educated or not educated, rich or poor, someone who will believe in you, someone who will encourage you. We call those people coaches or mentors. Mm -hmm. I cannot overemphasize the need for having such people in your life.